Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to assemble Brainless extending back from Ikea. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. You don't make my day and let's do the job now. And we're starting with the extending part of the bed. There's a two side panels, three wooden plugs on each side and two plastic locks on each side of the side panel. Don't forget to point the arrow on the plastic locks to the right direction so we're not going to have a problem when we're going to attach them. So three screws, this is the back panel, three screws on the side and one screw on the middle. L-shaped rail is going to hold the wooden slats, attach it with the screws and we can put the side panels in, just find the right holes and lock it with the two plastic locks, exactly the same on the other side, tap it all in and secure the locks. You're going to have three dividing panels, each of them have a two wheels each wheel have two screws, just attach the wheels. And two wooden plugs on each side of the dividing panels. You can place the rails on the side. There is uh, just one rail secured with the screws. On the middle, we're gonna put the plastic washers under the rail and exactly the same on the other side. So the middle panel has two rails on both sides. And the other side panel, just one rail. And secure it with the screws. You can place the dividing panels, secure it with the lock. This is the front panel. It's an open panel three screws on the side, one on the middle, another three screws on the other side. Place the rail, secure it with the screws, make sure the rail is in the right position. And we can put the top panel on, find the right holes, connect to the side panels and the dividing panels. And we can secure it with the three locks. And three long screws through the dividing panel to the side panel exactly same on the other side this is the wooden slats just place the plastic hooks there is three panels one on each side one on the middle I think the middle one is on hole 14 just two screws one on the bottom one on the top And we have the extending part ready so we can start to do the middle part two plugs two long screws on the side panels long l-shaped rail again this is the back panel Here with the screws you can prepare the back panel and connect it with the side panels slide it in not completely in now place the big locks this is the important part make sure the arrows are in the right direction tap it all in you're gonna have like three millimeters and then start to tie up the locks exactly the same here big locks point the arrow to the right direction put the side panels you're gonna get closest about three millimeters from the there's gonna be gap three millimeters then start to lock the locks tie them all in one up one down and that's it this is the middle rail two screws and one joining screws one on each side lock it in Four plastic legs. This is the L-shaped bracket. It's gonna be on a two wooden slats. This is the ending slat. Is gonna stop the extending part from the coming completely out. 
it's important make sure you position the L-shaped bracket on the right side closest to the side panel and secure with the screws you can place the plastic hooks put the screws on the front rail plastic hook at the back and one screw at the front exactly the same on all of them so there's only one plastic plug at the back and at the front there is a screw which is secure in the slot now we can position the extending part this one's just coming with the plastic hooks just hook it in lift the front part slide it in behind the bracket you see now it's closing I'm not gonna let you open completely exactly the same on the other side sometimes you need to lift the middle as well to get it in and you can slide it in the slats are not even that's how it's supposed to be and we can do the drawers now we're gonna have two drawers nice storage under the bed so this is the side panels this is the front panel two screws on each side so four screws and one on the middle you can place the side panels lock it with the two plastic locks exactly the same on the other side my karate Character stuff. Okay, back panel and uh, is secured with the plastic plugs. Under it, you have a metal bracket to secure in the middle so you can load the drawers heavier. That's just supporting the middle. This is the rails, just place them in and the handle exactly the same the other one it's the front panel four screws two on each side one small on the middle we place the side panels lock it in back and the top secure the rails and this is the dot this is the drawer handle it's two screws through the front panel and that's it the bed is done can place the mattresses you're gonna have two slim mattresses so once you open the bed you can extend it to the double bed and that's okay it. and this is it this is the Brimness IKEA extending bed if you enjoyed the video guys yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will make my day and see in my next one very very soon have a great day yeah. I'm gonna show you today how to assemble Brimness extendable table from my oh, game. No.